Welcome back to Vladflix. Somebody recently asked in comments if I could make cocktails for home. Well, look at this. I'm filming this at home. Today, I'm going to actually show to you guys three different versions of white Russian. We're gonna make simple version how you would make it at home, how I would make it in more advanced level, and also completely creative version, a twist on white Russian. And just in case if you didn't know, white Russian is delicious and super popular drink, and it got its popularity because of the movie The Big Lebowski. It's pretty easy to make the original one. You just uh, fill it up in glass with the regular ice. The ingredient, coffee liqueur Kahlua. Then we will need two ounces of any vodka. Of course, you can use the cheapest one. So I'm using right now Sky and we'll need two ounces. On top, you need to add one ounce of uh, cream or milk. And if you made uh, of soy and tofu like myself, you can use almond uh, milk or oat milk. So, And you can just uh, layer it on top like this. Uh, but of course, before you drink it, you can mix with something. We're not using bar tools at home kitchen, so you can just use straw. And there you go. And as a pro bartender, first of all, we're going to choose much nicer glass to serve it in and put it in the freezer for now. And we're also going to stir it in a mixing glass. So first, uh, we'll need just uh, two ounces of vodka, but already more premium one. So, two ounces. Next, the same like in the original recipe, we will need one ounce of uh, Kahlua. Put a couple pieces of ice and stir it a few times. Now let's bring our chilled glass already and just strain it. Next, I'm going to put like really nice and pretty ice cube. So, and now we're going to add cream on top, but not just like regular cream. Actually, I made this earlier. I mixed it with some sweetness, but you can use guys any flavor. You can use vanilla or anything. And then just uh, put it like this on top. You don't have to, but I prefer to garnish it a little bit with a nutmeg. Make sure to just uh, give a straw so the way you kind of like put straw, mix it a little bit, drink it. Let me know guys, which one you like it so far. Option number one or option number two. Okay, so, and for third version, pretty much everything goes. It's gonna be obviously twist, not a classic version. So it will be a lot different. And as you see, we started making it in the shaker. Stay. So first we'll need one ounce of uh, cold brew coffee. Next, we'll need an ounce and a half of uh, premium vodka. Three quarters of an ounce of uh, amaretto. Next will be two dashes of uh, chocolate bitters. Just get rid of this uh, water. Add a little more fresh ice and shake it really well. Of course, for this kind of specialty cocktails, you want to find the fanciest glass. And I will be using this uh, rocks glass provided by a company called Fifth and Fox. So thank you so much guys for sending this. Check it out. But let me show it to you first what I did earlier. I took rum chata and poured it into the glass this way. So, and then I put it in the freezer for a few hours and now you see it's frozen like this. So I used about three quarters. Okay, now you find a clear ice. So like place it right here. So, and this is pretty much upside down white Russian. Pretty cool thing that you put straw, you start slowly drinking and over time it uh, changes taste. So it's become a little different while when uh, rum chata is mixing with the drink. So it's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like this option. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode. Uh, please let me know in the comments what other cocktails you want me to make. Send some recommendations. I'll try to choose the best. And I would really appreciate if you send this episode to someone who likes to make cocktails at home or at the bar and who likes to drink them. And of course, thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to OK Hold My Camera. There are so many new subscribers. This is the best channel on YouTube. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.